Okay. <clears throat> Again, we're, uh, we're in big, just outside of uh, Big Cedar, Oklahoma, and uh, from the logging road, we were able to see these structures. So I wanted to want to take a moment here to get out and kind of document these things. Boom, right there, you can see the X. There. That's what actually first grabbed my attention. This is good stuff. You can actually see footprints. Uh, probably not with the camera. You can actually see in this uh, ash, all this undergrowth has been burnt off. And uh, you can actually see a lot of footprints in this area. It's all torn up. Yeah, I was just noticing that. They're uh, they're everywhere over here. Look how this tree's broken. Like, how does that happen in the middle of a forest with larger trees? All the way around. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I said, notice how everything happens in threes. Mm-hmm. Where you find one lean, you're going to find two more. Yeah. Yeah, the one across the bottom. Mm -hmm. Notice how everything touches. Yeah. Everything's touching. 
even the smallest detail. Look here, it's this. There, every, mm -hmm. everything's touching. And usually, what you'll have, I noticed too, is like triple X's in some manner. Uh huh. Yeah, this ground is all torn up. A lot of prints. These things reach to the top of the, can the canopies as well. Some of them do. Like I said, everything seems to interconnect. Where you see one lean, you'll see a second lean, you'll see a third. Um, everything just everything interconnects. Everything touches. A lot of detail. That's what amazes me. Even to the smallest detail. This is a cool area because you have the large structures, the large leans, all the way down to the smallest, smallest little detailed ones. See how everything's touching? <laughs> I think it scared me more than it did him. <laughs> right here, boom. Locked in there really good and tight. Can't be by chance, you know. Especially on this this scale. Alright, well I think we're gonna make our way out. Again, we were on our way to another destination. We were in the uh, heading back towards the Kamichi, Kayamichi Mountains, and uh, we had pulled off this little logging road and uh, just noticed some structures from the roadway that were so blatant. So we're gonna uh, make our way out and uh, uh, back to the top top of the mountain uh, to take a, uh, a logging road that runs a, along a ridge line there. So, um, go find Chris here and make our way out. We'll talk again soon. Okay, so we were on our way back to the truck, we found this very interesting area. So if you'll notice, here, looks like a perimeter all the way around with these logs. And then here, Here you have your X. Which is also touching or in some way connected to that log. You have vlogs this way, this way.
Now what's really interesting about, about this area, not only is it matted down, it's hard to tell with the camera by the way, it's hard to tell the depth, but uh, this area is really matted down. And over here, there is a mound. Large mound full of uh, rocks as well. There's some large rocks mixed in with that. And then right here to the right, just to the right here, this area is um, kind of concaved as if dirt has been taken from here and placed there. And then right, right at the edge of it, you have a lean. Some small signage here around. Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You can tell there's been, looks like other animals digging in it, possibly burrowing in it at different times. Like that. I had to, if I had to guess, probably some, this area here, from there to there. I'll give you a perspective length. It's about, uh, I'd estimate that to be about 10 feet. What do you guys think? Sasquatch burial. Yeah, these logs have been here a long time. You can see it was a lot more. The way they were laid in here at one time, they were all touching. Boom, here, there, they're all touching. So uh, this area uh, we're in is just uh, actually within the big Cedar City limits of Oklahoma. Uh, it's right on the river. And uh, we came into this area, uh, uh, earlier we saw the tree structures from the, the highway. And uh, we found the river and it's known to always have tree structures along rivers, so we thought we'd come and try to find uh, A, uh, more structures, and B, maybe like a, uh, a place to conduct a night investigation, which we're still on the fence of doing, by the way. <laughs> See, he's sporting the, the Sooner Sasquatch. That's right. That's right. I'm, a, I'm now official. <laughs> so. so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we, will, we will definitely be back. We got lucky and it didn't run off too bad. So. 
Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Yeah, well, I should go ahead and do, do the same little introductory for you. <laughs> Is it safe to call you my new research, par research partner? There you go. Okay, uh, with Sooner Sasquatch. Mm -hmm. All right. I wonder if sometimes these little stick symbols mean anything. Well, there's a ton of small signage around that area right there, so I'm, you know, it's. <laughs> In this area, everything may not be related oh. to Sasquatch, but I think primarily. Yeah, you never know. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, man. So okay. we can. Uh, Are you still filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. God, this awesome area. Yeah, it's bad. This is, this is, this is a mass area. All right, Chris. We're signing off, brother. <laughs> Until next time. We had a great time. Mm-hmm. Yes, we did.